హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు సూసన్ అండ్ జాన్ మ్యాట్ ట్యూబ్ దిస్ ఇస్ లెసన్ నెంబర్ సెవెన్ అండ్ వీఆర్ స్టిల్ ఆన్ బీటా గామా ఫంక్షన్స్ అండ్ ఇన్ టుడేస్ వీడియో వీ గోయింగ్ టు డూ టూ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ అండ్ దాట్ ఆల్సో బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద డెఫినేషన్ అండ్ అఫ్ కోర్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద కంటిన్యూషన్ ఫ్రమ్ లెసన్ నెంబర్ సిక్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్ అదర్ వర్డ్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ డిడ్ ఇన్ వాచ్ లెసన్ నెంబర్ సిక్స్ యూల్ ఫైండ్ దిస్ ఎ లిటిల్ బిట్ హార్డ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ anyway let's go for the biggest question in video lessons how to use the video lessons effectively and i'm sure you know 1 2 3 4 5 that's it let's start so write the first question show that integral 0 to infinity x square e to the power minus x to the power 4 dx multiplied by 0 to infinity e to the power minus x to the power 4 dx is equal to pi the whole divided by 8 root 2. Anyway, it's a product of two integrals. So what I do first is I am going to call the given integral to be capital I. So I am going to write let capital I equal to I1 times I2, where I1 is equal to integral 0 to infinity x square e to the power minus x to the power 4 dx. And of course, I2 is integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus x power 4 dx. Now look at this. Um, before we start, I have to teach you one small property which we discussed in lesson number 1 in beta gamma functions and the property is if you have gamma m gamma 1 minus m that is if you get the sum of the arguments inside the gamma to be 1 then the answer will be pi by sin m pi and I will always recommend uh, to put the smaller one inside and how this works is very simple Suppose you have gamma 1 by 3, gamma 2 by 3. By looking at it, I can recognize because the sum of the arguments will be equal to 1. The answer is pi by sine 1 by 3 pi. And that will be pi by sine 1 by 3 pi is root 3 by 2. And this will flip and it becomes 2 pi by root 3. Suppose you have gamma 1 by 6 gamma 5 by 6 I will recommend you to put the smaller one here um, and that means the sum is 1 so the answer is pi by sin 1 by 6 pi in bracket and that is pi the whole divided by 1 by 2 that will be 2 pi and suppose you have gamma 1 by 4, gamma 3 by 4, that will be pi the whole divided by sine 1 by 4 pi. And that is pi the whole divided by how much? 1 by root 2. That will be root 2 pi. So I think you got a proper explanation of the formula gamma m, gamma 1 minus m. Anyway, let's continue. So we have a product and I1 is integral 0 to infinity x square e to the power minus x to the power 4 dx. So like I did in the last video, I want you to write two things. What is gamma n? Integral 0 to infinity e power minus x, x power n minus 1 dx and just below this I want you to write this from right to left but using some other alphabet so that you will be brainwashed in a definite integral the variables do not matter okay and I'm sure you already know the method you take a look at e to the power minus whatever remains will be our substitute and two things we have t equal to x power 4 when you read from right to left 
and that means when x is equal to 0 this limit belongs to x so if x is equal to 0 t will be 0 to the power 4 and when x is equal to infinity t will be infinity into infinity into infinity into infinity whatever that becomes infinity now here i'll do something very 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 important i'll do that with some other color you can check the last video i did the same thing okay now dx will be 1 by 4 t to the power 1 by 4 minus 1 dt don't simplify keep it as such okay so let's substitute so i1 equal to integral t equal to same limit and instead of x what should i do yeah so t to the power 1 by 4 the whole square and this will be e to the power minus t and dx will be 1 by 4 t to the power 1 by 4 minus 1 dt and that means it will be t equal to 0 to infinity t to the power 2 by 4 and this 1 by 4 goes outside e to the power minus t stays here and plus 1 by 4 minus 1 whatever happens don't simplify completely because you already know the trick we need something minus 1 i don't want to lose that minus 1 that's why i didn't simplify and that will be 1 by 4 integral t equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus t t to the power 3 by 4 minus 1 now tell me please if you had watched lesson number 6 i'm sure you'll identify this integral in a second yeah gamma 3 by 4 see yeah so that's it so i'm going to write i1 is equal to 1 by 4 gamma 3 by 4 and i'm going to call it equation number 2 because i have to call the question as equation number 1 okay now i2 what is i2 yeah integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus x power 4 dt again my friends the same thing put x power 4 is equal to t so x equal to t to the power 1 by 4 so dx is equal to 1 by 4 t to the power 1 by 4 minus 1 dt and the limit will be from 0 to infinity you plug in all those things and you'll get t is equal to 0 to infinity e to the power minus t and 1 by 4 t to the power 1 by 4 minus 1 dt i'll write that a little bit neatly 1 by 4 goes outside in del t equal to 0 to infinity um, e to the power minus t t to the power 1 by 4 minus 1 dt if you don't get this please go through the video once more because the answer is correct so that will be 1 by 4 gamma 1 by 4 i'm not going to explain how this happened okay so that is my equation number 3 okay now i'm going to write by 1 i is equal to i1 into i2 that means 1 by 4 gamma 3 by 4 1 by 4 gamma 1 by 4 that will be 1 by 4 into 1 by 4 16 gamma 1 by 4 gamma 3 by 4 do you remember in the beginning i taught you one trick how to deal with gamma m gamma 1 minus m so look at this my friends is the sum 1 yeah so this is 1 by 16 pi the whole divided by sine 1 by 4 pi and the answer is 1 by 16 pi the whole divided by what's that 1 by rho 2 and that will be of course 1 by 16 root 2 pi and use a calculator or simplify you will get pi by 8 root okay now let's go for the next question so please write prove that integral 0 to infinity root y e to the power minus y square dy times integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square by root y dy equal to pi by 2 root same method my friends you just call the given integral to be i1 into i2 where i1 is 
this green circle and I2 is the red circle. You can explain that in the exam. So, here we go with the green. So, I1 is equal to 0 to infinity root y e to the power minus y square dy. Now, tell me what to do. Put, come on, tell me please. Yeah, put y square is equal to t. And the exam, I will strongly suggest you write this. What is the definition of gamma n? Integral 0 to infinity e power minus x, x power n minus 1 dx. So, here we go. The limits will be t varies from 0 to infinity for sure. I am not going to do that again and again. Um, and then y is equal to t power 1 by 2. Do not forget this step. This is a key step that can save a lot of steps in the exam. Now, the usual step differential and whatever happens, do not lose this minus 1 because in the definition we have n minus 1. Now, time to substitute t equal to 0 to infinity. Root y means uh, y to the power 1 by 2. So, that will be t to the power 1 by 2, the whole power 1 by 2 and e to the power minus t and what is dy? 1 by 2 t to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 dt. Now, two more steps and you have the answer. 0 to infinity e power minus t. So, this 1 by 2 goes outside and t to the power 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 dt. That is it my friends. We are almost near the answer. 1 by 2 0 to infinity e to the power minus t and t to the power 3 by 4 minus 1 dt. That is i1 is equal to, tell me, come on, tell me, we did a lot of problems. Yeah, gamma 3 by 4. So, like before, make a box, call it equation number 2 because equation 1 is the question. Okay, now we go for i2 and I am sure you have a clear idea uh, what will happen to i2. So, I2 is integral 0 to infinity e power minus y square by root y dy. I will show you. Now, the same thing. Oh, I should have written with yellow. Yeah, put y square equal to t, y equal to t power 1 by 2. The limits, the new limit will be 0 to infinity because 0 square is 0, infinity square is infinity. And dy equal to 1 by 2, t to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 dt. And one more thing, root y means y power 1 by 2 and that is t power 1 by 2, the whole power 1 by 2, that will be t power 1 by 4. So, with all those information, we get e power minus t and this is 1 by root y. So, this goes above because I already simplified that 1 by 2 t to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 dt. And one more step and we can write the answer, but in the exam, do not skip steps. e power minus t, yeah, minus 1 by 4, so that will be t to the power 1 by 4 minus 1 dt. And that 1 by 2 stays outside. So, we get 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 4. That is it my friends, so I will call this as equation 3. Now, I am going to plug in uh, 2 and 3 in equation 1. That means, we get 1 by 2 gamma 3 by 4 times, isn't it? Yeah, 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 4 and that will be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2, 1 by 4 and you know how to deal with this. The sum is 1, so pi by sine 1 by 4 pi and that will be pi by 4 into 1 by root 2 that will become root 2 and that becomes pi by 2 root 2. That is it my friends. Uh, we have almost reached the end of beta gamma functions. In the next video, I will be back with one more very, 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 very important question in the sense important for exam because I have seen that question appearing again and again and again in many question papers. 
so as always if you like the video please share and subscribe we'll meet very soon with that very important question in beta gamma function and that will be the last lesson in beta gamma function so till then my friends bye